good few years ago now, I was suffering badly on my back and struggling through my training periods. Mm. Um, and uh, I thought, it got to a point where I thought it's, it's time to, to get this looked at properly. Steve Deadman from the Back Hair Clinic in Crawley recommended to me Martin Knight and said that he's the only man that he would let loose on your back. We got together in about 2014 and you'd had symptoms for about a year as I recall uh, but he was clearly very disabling. So we went through the usual evaluation and an MRI scan showed he'd got some early degeneration uh, to the lower three levels, in fact, in his spine. And the options for him would have been to have uh, open discectomy, that's to take the disc material out through a posterior approach, or to perhaps go to total disc replacement. He's young, he could take that. Whether or not that would have got him back into competitive fighting, I think that might have been a little unlikely. He'd had injections, he'd had good physiotherapy through Steve before he came to us, and there was no point in repeating that. So, in essence, you very kindly underwent this aware state surgery. That helped me to check whether those three levels were contributory. As I recall, the third disc up that produced some of that spasmodic flank pain you got. Yeah. And we put gel sticks into that, which is a modern treatment for rebuilding the height and slowing down the degeneration by taking the acids out of the disc. Uh, the next level down, the doorway was small. The disc bulge was actually bigger than it appeared on the scan. So we went in with the telescope, opened up the doorway and took out just the minimum part of the disc because you don't want to take away all the washer, you want to preserve the disc as much as possible. So we took out uh, just the degenerate disc, which we'd stained blue, so we knew what was degenerate and what wasn't. And then at the lowest level, you needed more work. That level produced buttock pain and leg pain and your back pain. And then it was over to you. How did you sort of help let Ben know, look, I can only do so much, some of this is gonna go on to you on the post-recovery? Absolutely. Well, of course, Ben is an ideal type of patient. You, you know, if you point him and fire him, he'll do all the exercises and the rehabilitation that's required of him. Almost the biggest problem was that you've got to hold him back in the first six weeks, which I think you found a bit difficult. Yeah, but um, you did very well. And the rehabilitation takes um, a good three months. And Ben, obviously, you needed to feel at ease with the way that Martin was handling you sort of pre-op. That's right. During the whole process, because this was your this is your career. Obviously, yeah. you have a family. I think your baby girl was being born at the same time. Yeah. It was, it was heavy going on. And obviously, as Martin said, they wanted to get back to, to be a champion as you were before. So going through your mind, you needed to be comfortable that you were going to be working with the best in the business. Of course, of course. I actually... Um Went to a, a few other surgeons before Mars, before I was recommended to Martin, and uh, the, they give me no confidence as such. It was more they were going to slice me open. I was sounded like I was on a conveyor belt, the same as everybody else. Um, as soon as I went to see Martin, I was at complete ease. What other athletes have you worked on, or close colleagues have worked on that, that yeah. are in, that are higher in, in the in the public? Public eye, what you know, be interesting to know. Um, yeah, we've got uh, top class um, riders, champion riders. Uh, we've just looked after a South African uh, top jockey, uh, rowers, athletic sprinters, um, racing drivers, golfers. And the interesting thing with the golfers is when they've been through it and they've done their rehabilitation. Their handicap seems to drop. I think their posture wow. improves, and so they like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they're becoming back to yeah. <laughs> You'll be here a lot as golfers. And footballers. Uh, we've had a few uh, footballers. And the other group, of course, is cricketers who will crack bits in their back. And with this technique, you can go in. You don't have to have a fusion, and you can free the nerve up. And it doesn't matter if that little crack doesn't unite completely as long as the nerve is free. 
We started this work about 25 years ago. It was unknown in the country because it was evolving. And so we set up the Spinal Foundation, and that has a website, and we've treated some 8,500 patients over the years. So there's a word of mouth side, but it's through the web, really. And I work, of course, in London, in Harley Street, and at Falkham Manor Hospital in Kent. Any final sort of final thoughts for the yeah, for your well, followers and friends to, about what you felt with Martin? I mean, a huge, huge thank you. Um, I, my my career was coming to an end too early because of an injury that you managed to get me back to to winning you know major titles again. So it's a massive thanks on my part. Um, and I've seen so many people with similar type of injuries that are either still struggling mm. or they're that could come to you and change their life as well, or or they're actually have gone through surgery, and it's not they've not come out properly, and it's not been quite right. Martin Knight of the Spinal Foundation, many thanks for your time today, and My Ben, pleasure. we look forward to the next the next what's going on in 2016. Very exciting time for Team Dur Duracell Jones and all that's yeah. involved and around you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.